Before we get into today's video, I do want to let you guys know that this video is for educational purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comments section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, Y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some current things. Before we go any further, I did want to stop and thank today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have watched my videos, you know that I have worked with Scentbird before and I love their products. If you guys do not know, Scentbird is a monthly subscription where you get to choose from over 600 different designer brand fragrances and you get to try, you know, one, two, three different fragrances a month. This month I got Versace Yellow Diamond, Sanctuary Red Panda, and Rachel Zoe Warrior. Your little trial size perfumes are gonna come in these little velvet bags like this. They are so cute. And then they come in a little twisty cap like this. Look, it's so easy to use and then you just Ooh, this smells so good. This is the Versace Yellow Diamond. Ugh. And with every fragrance, they send you a card. On the card, it will tell you what your fragrance is that you got, as well as on the back a description of the scent. To me, it smells like a date night. You could just put date night on here for me. This one is the Red Panda, and if you guys see, you can just pull this out of here like this and you get like that is a lot of perfume. They say it's a trial size. That is a lot. Ooh, the Red Panda. The Red Panda's card actually says, Sanctuary was created to help raise awareness and money in an effort to help save endangered species. And the Rachel Zoe Warrior, I have really been wanting to try this scent right here. And it's such a unique smell. Mmm, smells good. And you've not heard me talk about this before. I like to carry one of these in my gym bag, one in my purse, and one in the console of my car. So when I get three of them, I got it everywhere I go, honey. When I get about the gym, I got to cover the sweat. You know, I can't be walking in the house stinking. So I gotta, I gotta use my scent bird. If you use code CHR when checking out, you will get 30% off of your first purchase with scent bird, making it only $11. You guys designer perfume for $11. Y'all better get on that honey. Order it for your grandma, order it for your mom, late mother's day present, whatever you got to do. But Honey, $11 for some designer perfume. And Scentbird has an app which is very convenient and easy to use. You can just swipe through, pick out your perfumes that you would like. They also have different products, skincare products. But again, thank you so much Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. You guys, do not forget to click the link down in the description box and use code CHR for 30% off of your first purchase. All right, back to the video. Today we're gonna be talking about an update on Josh Duggar. You guys have been blowing me up in the DMs wanting me to talk about this and I got you. Before we get into it though, I want to say a little something. Have y'all heard the rumor about uh, Bill Gates? Have you heard it? Okay. We all know that Bill Gates and Melinda are in a divorce or are getting a divorce or have gotten a divorce, right? And she's getting half of his money or their money. It's their money. She's been with him this whole entire ride. She got like 140 something billion dollars is the 50% and he didn't fight her on it. There's been a lot of rumors going around about like exactly why, da, 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 da. Well, the newest rumor is, and I will leave the article link down below. And if you guys want me to do a whole video on this and tell y'all my opinions, cause honey, I got some opinions for you, okay? The rumor is the reason why they're getting a divorce is because of Bill Gates' connection to Jeffrey Epstein. Oh yeah, he was on that flight log and I got some opinions on it. So the rumor is they went ahead and got a divorce because legal things is probably going to be stirring here pretty soon and it just kind of helps out with the finances and stuff so we shall see again let me know down below if you want me to do a whole video on it okay talking about josh duggar you guys know he was recently released from jail on bond a lot of people were really upset with that 
including myself, but we have a constitution, we have laws. Innocent until proven guilty. But let, let me just update you real quick. If you guys do not know, Josh Duggar is the oldest child of Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar, the show that started out as 17 and counting. Y'all were coming for me like 19 and counting. See, I, I'm old enough to remember when it was 17 and counting and then it went to 19 and counting and then counting on, just like I said in the first video, 17 and counting and then the spinoffs. Nevertheless, he's the oldest child of 19 and counting counting on 17 and counting. Josh is currently awaiting to go to trial. He is supposed to go to trial on July 6th for downloading and, and being in possession of child SA abuse photos. Federal authorities began investigating after Little Rock police detective found SA images that were being shared and downloaded and traced back to a computer of Josh Duggars. These traces allegedly took place in May of 2019. And the investigator that released a comment about this said that these were among the top five worst that he had ever seen. Allegedly, Josh Duggar had over 200 images on his computer that had been downloaded and then deleted. He thought he, was, he wasn't gonna get caught from ages of 18 months to 12 years old. Now, I know I emphasized on the 18 months, but you guys do not get me wrong. Any age of any child or anybody being abused or taken advantage of or victimized is wrong, but what a sicko, allegedly. Like, ooh, let's keep going. Over 200 images. Now, Josh was allegedly downloading these at his car dealership on the computer. So he's sitting up in there in his office, nasty behind, doing all this at work and his car dealer going out there selling like, and then he had some sort of like monitoring program set up on his computer that would tell his wife or send an alert to his wife if he downloaded or got in on any um, Prano websites because he had a Prano addiction. But he, Josh thought he was getting away with it because he was using, uh, allegedly using a VPN. So he was doing all of this using a VPN. The manipulation and the hoops that you have to go through to do these types of things, to, to download this app or whatever it is on your computer so you can tell your wife, no, no, listen, I, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm better. I'm a changed man. Here, I've got this one. It'll send you any alerts, but then he goes and gets a VPN and then he's sneaking around thinking he can download these images and not get in trouble. Mm -mm -mm. And to think about it, if he had a VPN that he thought was protecting him from downloading these types of things, he was, he might've just been going hog wild y'all. There ain't no telling what all's going to come out in court. Mm -mm. And he was downloading them and deleting them. And I know I spoke about this in the first video, but I just cannot help but to think, his, well, first of all, his wife is sticking by his side. People are saying she's brainwashed, which I'm, I, she probably I feel for her, okay? I feel for her, you wanna... I feel for her if I put myself in her position or her shoes because she's not me, okay? Me would be like, oh, I'd be at the police station, knock on the door, come and get him, come and get him. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be me. But she's a different woman. She grew up differently. She grew up with like stand by your man and believe. And he, I'm sure he is just lying and manipulating her to the core. So, so I feel bad for her in a way of like she seems very naive and out of touch with reality. Okay. And then also I start thinking about like people I've known in my past growing up who stood by their men when they did nasty stuff and how that made me feel as a, ch you know, you know, some of y'all know what that's like. So I'm trying, I'm trying to see all sides of it, but all sides of it makes me mad. <laughs> I almost said a bad word.
Now, they did give Josh a bond, and a lot of people are in an uproar about that, but according to the courts and legalities and stuff, he is not a flight risk, and he is innocent until proven guilty and all that there jazz, although a lot of us feel like he is probably guilty because he has a track record. If you guys don't know, um, it did come out years ago, back I think in, back in 2015, that Josh, when he was about 14 and 15 years old, he touched four of his younger sisters when they were younger than him. Obviously, he's the oldest. And one family friend that we know of, that he is admitted to. And so he already kind of had a track record in when you're dealing with a when when you're dealing with a child, there's so many more questions that I have, like with Josh being a child and the other and the other girls being a child. Like, I'm sure most parents that brought their kids over to the Duggars' house would just think that they were just like this perfect, you know, God fearing family, and nobody ever made any bad choices or mistakes. But I have so many more questions for the situation with Josh. Like, where did he learn these things from? Like, what? I have questions, but. Moving on, everybody's adults now. His sister, Jill and Jessa, that spoke out when they spoke out, they were 22 and 24 years old. They seem to be on a path of healing, but I'm gonna be very interested to see what happens at this trial. I do not believe for a second that Homeland Security, you know, the feds, because this is all fed charges that he's under, that they would be speaking out to these investigators, releasing statements like over 200 images or the top five worst images he had ever seen in his investigative career. Like, I don't believe they'd be saying all this if they didn't feel like they had a good, solid case. And we know anything that goes through the federal courts and stuff like that, these people, they've been watching you for a while. They're, they've been building a case. This isn't, you know, the police pulling you over on the interstate and smelling a little something and thinking that they have something. Like, they, they're literally, they're going all the way down the road with this. Like, they feel like they have a case. And once again, that doesn't mean the feds never get it wrong because they do, okay? doesn't mean that people aren't ever sentenced to guilty when they could possibly be innocent because we all know that does happen as well. But the track record with this, I mean, I don't know you guys. Y'all already know how I feel about it. Lock him up. And in this situation, he can get a maximum of 20 years if he gets found guilty for this, the maximum. And I don't know if you guys have been seeing it, but all over my Facebook feed recently, I've so, every time you turn around, there's somebody being arrested for this type of thing, these type of images. And it just makes you really realize how many very disturbed people that we have. And I want to say this without saying this, but you guys understand the type of abuse that has to happen for these images to even exist, okay? It's terrible. You got some of these babies that are gonna have issues when they're adults that they don't even know where these issues came from because they're not old enough to really remember. It's so sick and disturbing. And I know one thing, if I went to church with Josh, if I worked with Josh, if I had my children around Josh, I would be thinking like, you know what I mean? He's got, he's got six kids and one on the way. And he's sitting up at his little car dealership, allegedly downloading abuse images of 18-month-old babies to 12-year-olds? Hmm. Lock him up. In my personal opinion, let's make a big example out of him. And if any of you guys watching this have that desire, go get some help. You need to go get some help right now. Some very, very, very serious help. I don't know what to say to you because when it comes to children, for me, that is a whole nother level of like, there's no, ex there, there's no excuse. So there's an update on that. What do you guys think? Do you think he's going to be found guilty? I think he's going to be found guilty. My personal opinion, I don't think it, as of now, I don't think it's going to be like televised or anything. I hope that it is. I mean, his whole life was televised. You might as well televise the court too. You know what I'm saying? Might as well televise a trial. Let us all, we're invested at this point. I'm invested. What about you guys? All right, my loves, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. As always, please do not forget to like it. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.
we are